How are you, Or? Hi, Javier. How are you? Or and Hendrik, uh, the chief uh, product planner for uh, Kia here in the United States, and we are in the brand new uh, 2016 Kia Optima. This is a very important car for you, huh? That's right. I think um, <clears throat> since we launched the previous version, it's been our best seller every year for the last five years. So over 150,000 units a year. Uh, for the last couple of years, that's exactly right. So this is really, really an important vehicle for us, and uh, it's so it's a tall assignment to replace something that's as successful. Exactly, because uh, I mean, obviously, people have liked it. I mean, people have seen the value in it, and when you have something like that, you don't want to change it that much. That people said, okay, why are you why are you changing what I already like? Right. Right. I think for us, uh, we have to realize what made Optima so uh, popular and so valuable to us was the design. I mean, when the car came out five years ago, uh, it was such a shock for a lot of people. That's a Kia. They couldn't believe that something that looked so German, so premium, uh, could be a Kia. And uh, we wanted to preserve that going into the next vehicle, which we did. Uh, Peter Schreier and his team uh, on the design side worked on the original version and they also worked on on this version also. So what are the main changes? I mean they are not that that uh, obvious like maybe for the naked eye but what are the main changes well, design wise? Uh, first off uh, the vehicle is larger than uh, the outgoing car it's about a half an inch taller uh, a little bit longer but also wider so if you look at it next to the outgoing car it has more of a kind of a powerful uh, presence especially in the front it looks a little bit more athletic uh, a little bit uh, more bolder. Uh, also, uh, we're introducing a lot of new technology. Uh, we have autonomous emergency braking available, first time for Kia, uh, dynamic bending lights and smart beam assist, uh, and also uh, Apple CarPlay and also Android Auto are now available on this new Optima. So it's it's pretty amazing what you can put in a car now because I mean the price range for this car starts around low twenties and goes up to like thirty five. Thirty five thousand goes from about uh, twenty two thousand, just under twenty two thousand, up to about thirty five thousand. A choice of three different engines. We have uh, two two of them turbocharged. We have a two liter turbocharged engine, also a new one point six liter uh, turbocharged engine. That one's available with a seven speed. Uh, dual clutch transmission. That's our best, uh, our best mileage vehicle. About 39 miles per gallon on the highway. And uh, you picked uh, Aspen, Colorado, for the launch of this car. And I know the turbos don't don't respond that well in altitude because of lack of oxygen. But I mean, this one pretty responded really well. So. Well, uh, we feel that with the turbocharged technologies, the altitude it uh, um, it, it doesn't seem to affect the turbos as much because it's pressurized. You know the basic idea is it's forced induction so yeah. uh, I think we think for us the setting for Aspen is think and do different and basically that's what Kia has always been about is to do do things differently and to challenge the norms and to challenge uh, what you know about uh, our brand so we're always looking for a new opportunity to showcase that approach to the market. So um Kia has been here in the U.S. for uh, about 20 some years. We right? just had 20, our 20th anniversary. 20 anniversary. Uh, we came here in 1994, and uh, we just finished up with that. I know. Just in 2001, the brand recognition or the satisfactory level for Kia was like dead last. We were dead last, yes. And then humble like, beginnings. <laughs> I know, but like, I mean, how quickly can you turn that around? 14 years later, and you're like number one. I mean, that's that's pretty incredible, and it, people are still. <clears throat> I mean, people have to look at Kia because of what you can offer, right? Well, it's a very proud point. You know, it's a concerted focus on quality uh, in all aspects we do. And uh, it all the way down from uh, designing with quality into uh, the construction of the vehicle and assembly. And, uh, and our, this car is made here, right here in North America, in Georgia, in West Point, Georgia, at our KMMG facility. Uh, that's also an award-winning plant, which is the number one IQS plant. Uh, uh, we have that award. And for the overall brand, as you mentioned, we're now number two right behind Porsche. So the number one mainstream brand all the way from dead last to, to first in mainstream. And, uh, and it's still in pretty years. incredible that some people still don't don't get it. I guess it's part of our fault, like the media, that we have not like portrayed that, the, the great qualities and value of, of the Kia brand. Uh, but what what you think? It's, why is it you think that's still happening? Well, I think for a lot of uh, a lot of folks, they don't buy a new car, uh, you know, like as often as you buy other other consumable goods. It's uh, most people hang on to their cars uh, usually seven, eight years, uh, and we've just gone through a major recession. We've recovered from it, obviously, but 
the average age of the uh, U.S. Uh, car is about 11 years old. So um, I think that we've had a remarkable change in our vehicles and our approach to the market just over the last six years. So for a lot of people, it's this is news to them because yeah. they haven't been in market for six or seven years. So um, Kia doesn't have per se a, a luxury brand, but like when you see this car, thirty-five thousand dollars, with all the technology, all like leathers, like like precise stitching, like luxury items in a car like this, you're really not only competing with like the Accord, like the Maxima, like the regular brands, but also you're actually like competing with like the entry-level cars of luxury brands. Oh, absolutely, and we found that out uh, when we introduced the Optima. Uh, what encouraged us t to pursue the strategy is we saw a lot of folks coming in from BMW and Mercedes and other premium vehicles. They were moving down to a Kia because they loved the design so much. And uh, what we found out is that this area in between premium, uh, l between luxury cars and ma mainstream, there's there's kind of a blending going on. We see. Uh, Mercedes and Audi and BMW coming down market yeah and at the same time you see uh, ma mainstream brands coming up into this premium space so they're kind of uh, growing together and there's a lot of choice uh, between that thirty to forty thousand dollar price point and uh, we're uh, obviously participating with uh, this beautiful car but with uh, what you see the the value of what you get with thirty five thousand dollars this car because like for example some of the Germans have advertised their cars starting at twenty nine hundred right and it's impossible to get at that, well, car, at that's, that price, right? That's exactly right. This is a fully loaded vehicle, yeah. and to get this level of content in uh, a, a premium German German make or another import make, uh, you'd have to spend thousands of dollars more. And that's part of the uh, part of the Kia story is the value story, and, and that's something we're really proud of. Uh, we have uh, a navigation system uh, available all the way down to our base grade, which a lot of other manufacturers you have to move up to. Uh, the higher trims to get that level of quality. So what are what have been the improvements uh, from well, the engineering side of it? From the engineering side, uh, first and foremost is the foundation. We start with uh, very high quality materials, ultra high strength and high strength steel. We've increased the percent of that material in the vehicle itself about 150 percent. So the overall construction of the body is about 50 percent high strength steel. Yeah. That pays off because the vehicle is much more stiffer. Uh, the, the chassis overall uh, has a lot more rigidity, torsion, and you feel that when you drive it because it feels like a more solid car. In addition to that, our engineers have done a lot of work on the suspension to improve both the ride and handling. We have a premium uh, motor-driven power steering system on our SX and SXL grades, which, uh, as you can tell, has great dynamics. Um, and also a lot of MVH work has gone into reducing the noise levels in this vehicle. Yeah, you can feel that. I mean, we're, we're going up here uphill. We're like pushing the throttle pretty hard. We're like almost at 60 miles an hour and like pretty much no noise, no it's, outside It's noise. great. It's, uh, it's something that we're very proud of. And I think for us, that's why we have these events. So we, uh, the, the media can help us get the story and word out there. These cars drive great. Uh, they have a lot of features. They're well built. There's uh, with a with a quality that uh, a lot of people don't know about, and this is the whole point of these uh, these events. So this uh, Optima that we have, like you said, three three powertrains, three engines, uh, but there's more coming, right? Next year, I understand. Yes, we have. Uh, right now, we have our current generation hybrid uh, vehicle so we'll be having more news with that a little bit later we don't have anything announced yet but we'll we'll have a new version of that vehicle coming up in in uh, in the next year or so excellent well Arthur, thank you very much again for your time always a pleasure to drive and, and spend time with you in the cars that you put so much work awesome. in it I'm like because you... the, yeah this is like a work of uh, the result of what three four years of, of work from, from your, you and your team that's exactly right and we really appreciate you making your way all the way across country to uh to come join us to uh share the experience of the brand new 2016 optima well if it's in a place like this i mean this is beautiful <laughs> <laughs> aspen colorado snow west i wish there was some snow because you know i love skiing so it'll be perfect but maybe it's next time gonna, it's probably gonna hit all at once right now it's what 75 degrees <laughs> yeah. here it's almost like Miami temperature, but it's still <laughs> enjoyable to drive it. That's right. Thank you very much, Art. Thank you. Thank you.